Now, the modifiable aerial unit problem, the MOPE, also has the problem of selecting internal zoning systems. Because the, even for any le given level of aggregation scale, we can still decide to redistrict the zones inside that zoning scale in any way we like. And with secondary data, the zoning system is often out of the analyst's control. So I use secondary data all the time. That census data that we just saw on the previous slide is secondary data. I don't get to choose how the data are, are given to me besides the level of aggregation. If I choose state, well, the way that the states are drawn on the map, it's already predetermined. If I choose counties, the counties exist and the data is going to given, be given to me at the county level. I don't have a choice to, to re-aggregate the data at some other uh, using some other arbitrary zoning system. In order to do that, you would need access to the individual level census respondents, and then you can group them together manually any way you like. But of course, census data isn't available at the individual level. It has to come at one of these arbitrary levels of aggregation that have a predefined zoning system already uh, well defined. Now, usually that's okay, but sometimes you have to realize that the reasons of that, uh, the logic that went into the zoning system that you're retrieving your data at might not be related to the research problem that you're investigating. So, for example, I might retrieve transportation data at the census tract level of geography, but really the research question that I have uh, pertaining mode of transit really has to do with how far away people live from the closest bus stop and getting data at the census tract level isn't very helpful in trying to understand how close people inside the census tract are to a bus stop. So that's one example of how an arbitrary zoning system wasn't designed for the research question that I'm trying to investigate. Now, as secondary research data analysts, we really uh, struggle with this problem all the time, and usually there's no perfect solution. You just need to use your your understanding of your research question and the levels of aggregation that are available to you to come up with the best possible choice for your data. And if you can't do that, generally speaking, the lower the level of aggregation that you can retrieve the data at, the better it's going to be, or the more flexibility you can have with creating your own units from that lower level of aggregation.